right, welcome back to the spring finale of Simply Loved. Yes, I know. Take a breath. We'll have some fun summer plans, I promise. But this series, if you're not aware, is our children's Sunday school series about God's about learning God's love through the intentional growing of your faith in relationship with Jesus and with others. Today, we're going to learn about God fulfilling the promise that he made to Abram, which we talked about last week. And let's dive into it. In today's Bible story, we're going to hear about a man who didn't quite understand God's promise. We meet Abraham in the book of Genesis. His name used to be Abram, like we talked about last week, but God changed it when Abram got that special promise. God told Abraham that he would have a big family and play a big part in God's big plan. And it started with a baby. And now it took a long time for this promise to come true. Day after day, year after year, Abraham and Sarah got older and older, waiting and waiting to have this baby. And it seemed like God had forgotten about him. But one day, something happened. And that's where today's Bible story begins. Three important visitors showed up when Abraham wasn't ready. And he had to, well, let me show you. Imagine Abraham sitting in the doorway to his tent. And he looked up and saw three important visitors. He leaps to his feet bows to them. Let's all take a bow like Abraham and then invites him to come have a meal. They agree. So Abraham runs home and tells Sarah to break the bread. Abraham takes all the food to the visitors and they have a feast. And they chow down. One of the visitors says, I'll be back this time next year. And by then, you and Sarah will have a son. Now, Sarah, in the other tent, he is eavesdropping. She's got her hand behind her ear so she can listen. So let's listen with Sarah. Okay. So much time has gone by. Sarah was way past the age where she can have kids. And when she hears what the visitor says, she laughs to herself. As shown here. Let's all laugh to ourselves. <laughs> Let's laugh out loud. <laughs> All right, louder than that. <laughs> oh. Let's find out what Sarah said to herself that made her so made her chuckle so hard. It's in Genesis 18, verses 12 to 14, and it says this. So Sarah laughed to herself, thinking, I'm no longer gonna have be able to have children if my and my husband's old. So the Lord said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh and say, Me? Give birth? At my age? Is anything too difficult for the Lord? When I return about this time next year, Sarah will have a son. And nothing is too hard for God, which is why we can trust him. Abraham and Sarah had been waiting and waiting and waiting. But it just didn't seem like the promise was going to come true. Maybe you know what that's like. Maybe you're waiting and trusting God right now for something to happen. But no matter what we're waiting for, we can trust God. Back to the story. The visitor's eating, and they go on their way. Bye, visitors. But a year later, guess what Sarah is doing? She's rocking that little baby in her arms. How'd that happen? Genesis 21 tells us. The Lord was attentive to Sarah, just as she... Just as he had said. And the Lord carried out just what he had promised her. She began she became pregnant and gave birth to a son for Abraham when he was old. And at the very at the very moment God had told him. Sarah named her son Isaac, which means he laughs. I wonder why Sarah trusted God. God kept her promise. Or God kept her promise to her. And we can trust God because God always keeps our promises. So, to wrap up, God told Abraham and Sarah they'd have a baby. And later in God's story, God promised his people that another baby would be born. And this baby would be extra special because he'd save people from sin. And that baby was Jesus. So, I'd like to read something about our friend Jesus. So, as you listen, I want you to lock your pinkies together. Like you're making a pinky promise between you and Jesus. 
keep them locked, close your eyes, and as I read this. If you've ever had a if if you've ever had someone not keep a pinky promise, you know the truth. Some promises aren't worth that much. People mean to keep their promises, but it's sometimes it just doesn't happen. A promise is only as good as who makes it. God's promise can be and God's promises can be trusted. God has kept his promises no matter what. He never fumbled or forgotten a promise. A long time ago, God promised to send us a rescuer to help us overcome sin. And he kept that promise when he sent his only son and our friend Jesus. And here's the good news. God has made promises for you too. Jesus promised to love his friends, to give them peace and joy, and to never, ever forget them. And you can trust Jesus to keep his promises, every promise, every time. And that's it, friends. Again, don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends and family. Helps us, helps you take part in the Great Commission. Comment down something below. What's a promise that you're in the middle of making or in the middle of in a contract with somebody if you're willing to share? If not, what's one thing you promise to do this week? And as always, I will see you next time. Again, we're at the end of May. The summer is here. New stuff will be happening. Don't have the news yet, but... We'll get there. And it's simple. I will see you next time. And it's simple. Remember that Jesus loves you. I'll see you next time.